Hey folks, Bill here with Guillory Fine Art. Today I have a situation where I need to replace closed eyes. This is a, an image I took a while back and um, unfortunately she has her eyes closed but that's not too big of a problem because I always take several images of the same setup or posing and in this one she's got her eyes open which um, I can utilize that now previously in Photoshop what I would do in Photoshop would be to do a selection with a lasso selection and I would lasso around her face I do control C I'd switch over to the other image control V for paste and I would have that image in there and I could work with it but unfortunately on one does not have as far as I know a selection method so the only thing that I can do that I see that I can do is I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to crop as soon as it lets me I will crop in I'll make sure I'm freeform and I'll crop in the selection that I want right like that bring this in tight and bring that in tight now that is something that I think I can work with so I'm gonna say apply now what I will do is I'm going to export I'm going to export it as a JPEG I'm not going to put it in I'm going to keep it in the same folder and I'm not going to resize it I'm going to keep it the same original size because both images were taken from the same vantage point and I will export this is asking me do I want to change my preset family JPEG and no I do not so it has quickly made a JPEG of the cropped image now what I want to do before I forget because this is a, a good image I want to come here and reset all and this is on my CR2 file which I want to keep that this is my JPEG image. Now all I have to do is combine the two in layers. Now in on one the first image that you select is going to be the size of the image of all the other images that uh, is it going to be the original size that you're working with. So I'm selecting the image with the closed eye and then I will control and select the other image with the face um, go back to browse and browse I'm gonna choose layers yes I want to create a stack layer and now we have it and here is the new face I'm going to zoom in 50% and I'm going to transform and move hold my shift key down so I can pan and I'm going to move this image over here now I can tell right off the bat it is a little bit larger and I need to reduce so I'm holding my shift key to keep everything in proportion and bringing it down in size but as you can see you can't really tell just what it is so I'm going to zoom in closer hundred percent and I am on the face image we'll just call this a face image if I wanted to I could uh, double click and rename it here but I'm gonna change the opacity of the face image and now I see the image below it so I'm going to give it a little more strength so I can see the open eyes and as you can see you can move it around 
And what I like to look for is right in the corner of her eyes, I'm going to try to match the corner of her eyes there. So I'm going to move that right there. And let's see, if I turn it off and on, I can see her head is tilted. So I need to tilt a little bit ever so slightly to make it match. I'll turn it off and on and I'll watch her blink. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now, now that I have that, um, I can get out of the transform I'm gonna hit my B on my keyboard which will bring me into the brush I want to paint out I'm gonna go at a low opacity of 35 and I'm gonna start painting out everything and what to make it easier I will turn off the bottom layer turn my opacity up on the top layer and just brush out what I do not need and actually in this well I could probably uh, bump this up to say 42 take less passes of the key key of the mouse and really I think I'm just gonna keep the eyes everything else looks good now I'm going to change opacity a little bit less maybe 26 kind of give it a little feathering okay turn the bottom layer on now okay I can see that the uh, let's turn it on and off the eyebrows are staying pretty close to the same The only problem is the um, exposure. I'm going to bring the exposure down a little bit and that ought to do it right there. So we have our eyes closed, original, eyes open. Close, open, close, open. Okay, that looks good to me. So now I'll just come over here, I can right click and I can say a new stamped layer and it will create a layer with all of them. I'll turn these two bottom layers off and this is the layer. So I hope that was helpful. Um, that's all there is to it. I'm going, well, while I'm on that layer, I'll finish editing it. So I'm going to do control negative to zoom out uh, let me just go here and fit okay I want to crop I want to crop this thing horizontally oh I'm on freeform when you're cropping on freeform it won't let you switch horizontally you can go to original and then I'll crop and actually I'm going to change this to uh, let's say if I want an 8 by 10 now and flip it and then I can bring it in tight like that apply okay come uh, AI auto brighten it up I find the uh, AI auto always tends to go a little bit brighter than what I like so I'm gonna bring the exposure down bump up the contrast Go to effects, add a quick vignette. I love my vignettes. And a big softy. I will cut down the feathering on the softy. Change it to round. Uh, right about there. Size wise it looks good. And I'm going to reposition it down just a little bit there now bring the feathering back up and cut down on opacity the trick is 
to have it feathered to have a vignette that works but doesn't show so there it is all I have to do is export it out and you have your image with her with her eyes open I hope this was helpful and uh, see you next time